All right, so we will start this. Okay. So thermodynamics. So what does thermodynamics mean to you guys? Nothing or something or <laughs> meaningless? It's like how energy transfers Yeah, perfect. Okay, key word here is energy. Okay, energy. So we'll just call it the study of energy, thermodynamics. Okay, study of energy and it's how it goes around, how it transforms. Yeah, that's good. Um, so we ask ourselves a question here and whenever, anytime you talk about thermodynamics, we ask ourselves the question. And the question we ask ourselves is, okay, we ask ourselves the question. Uh, what makes the reaction proceed towards the products? Okay, that's what you want to ask yourself. In terms of energy, what will make the reaction move forward and give you products in terms of energy? Okay. So having said that, there's three energy parameters that I want you to look at. Okay, in terms of thermal, what makes the reaction move forward? There's three of them. So one of them we've actually talked about. Okay, I hope you remember this if you had me last term. Uh, Hopefully, do you remember this term, enthalpy? Okay, that's one uh, you do. Okay, very nice, Allison. Thank you for having my back. <laughs> enthalpy is one of them. Don't worry, as soon as it's an enthalpy, I remember delta H. And then you wrote it, and I was like, I do remember something. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, it's something. Okay, <laughs> enthalpy, okay. Uh, this is called enthalpy, and enthalpy is a measurement of heat flow. Heat flow, does the heat go from the system to the surroundings, or does heat go from the surroundings to the system? Okay, so that is what enthalpy here is. We're going to call it heat flow. And we're, by heat, I'm going to call it Q, heat flow. Okay, so that is one parameter. Okay, that is one thing that uh, determines whether a reaction will move forward or not. Uh, do you remember this? If your enthalpy is positive, okay, what do we call that? Okay, very good. Okay, makes me happy to hear that. If, uh, if this term, if this number is positive, we call that an endothermic reaction. If it's negative, we call it an exothermic reaction. Exo meaning outside. Heat is moving outside from the reaction, from the system, to the surroundings. Okay, very nice. Okay, there's a second one, something that I have not taught you, but we will learn today. Uh, the second term is S. This can also go by delta S. S or delta S. So notice this can be standalone or change in delta. And this is called entropy. Entropy. Okay, I'll tell you more about this later. For now, we will just know that entropy is a measure of order or disorder. measure of order or disorder. Okay. So here what I want you to know that this value S or delta S is positive. That means we have more disorder. Okay, 
or disorder. Okay, if it's negative, we have less disorder and more order. Okay, order or disorder is entropy. Okay. So, um, how many of you have? Um, Uh, when was the last time you cleaned your room? Okay. Last week? Okay, a better example. I'll talk about my home here. None of you clean your rooms. Um, uh, kitchen, kitchen sink, okay? Um, cleaned it, cleaned the dirty dishes maybe, I don't know, two days ago, okay? Kitchen was spick and span. Okay, very nice and pretty, okay? How do you think it is, you know, two days from now, three days from now? Is it the same clean, spick and span? No, okay? Over time, the entropy, the disorder has increased. Okay, you clean the room, okay? After one week, will that room still remain the same neat and tidy? Okay, for most of us, absolutely not. Okay, if you have children or studying or whatever, it just it doesn't matter how old or young. You clean something by next week, it's not clean. It's just, okay, messy. Okay, that means that system has had more disorder. Okay, more disorder. Okay, if I want more order, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the room, if I want more order, what do I have to do? I got to do some work. I got to do some effort. Okay, I have to exert energy, okay? Entropy is a type of energy. Having said that, which do you think is more order? A solid, liquid, or a gas? Solid. A solid. Which do you think is more disordered? Solid, liquid, or a gas? gas. Definitely a gas. Gas is like all over the place. Solid is just nice and ordered. Okay, if you look at a, under a microscope of a solid, you did the solids lab, didn't you? Remember? Remember the solids lab? You weighed out the solids. Under a microscope, if you uh, the most powerful microscope, you'll see they're organized as unit cells. Okay, very, very ordered. Unit cells. Very, very ordered. Okay. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Three angstroms each unit cell. Two angstroms, zinc, copper, depending on the metal. Super ordered. Okay, super organized in terms of its structure. BCC, FCC, remember this? That's very order. A gas, there's no such thing for a gas. <laughs> They're not in any type of order. They're like freaking all over the place. Okay, you open the door, the gas comes out or comes in. Okay, so that is disorder, right? So entropy is a measurement of order or disorder. If you're more positive, you're more disordered, like a gas state. Okay, if you are ordered, like a solid state, you're less positive. You can even be negative, okay? Less than zero, negative. All right, the final judge, okay, the final judge, jury, and executioner in all of this, that determines whether the reaction will proceed or not. Okay, it's something called delta G, which stands for Gibbs free energy. This is called Gibbs free energy. Okay, named after Mr. Gibbs, I guess. Delta G, the change in, and this is good energy. This is the energy that's available to do work. This is useful energy, as opposed to energy that just goes away and sort of dissipates. 
to the surroundings or to the system. Uh, this is energy that, you know, by gosh, can do something, okay, whether it's, um, I don't know, uh, move something in your body, you know, make another reaction go somewhere else in the body and the cell, okay, this is energy that can be captured. This is energy that can be harnessed. Okay, so this is the final parameter that determines whether the reaction is going to go to products or not. That's the final judge, okay? For that, if that delta G is positive, okay, if that delta G is positive, If that delta G is positive, we call that an endergonic reaction. And that means, no, it cannot go to products. If that delta G is negative, remember, this is the final judge. If it's negative, we call it an exergonic reaction. That means, yes, this reaction will move towards products. Okay, yes. Negative delta G means it will release free energy. And that free energy can be, like by the cell, taken to do another reaction. It could be, I don't know, outside biology. I, you know, it can be utilized to power something or the other. Okay, it's energy that can be utilized or captured. Okay, so this is the final judge. Okay. There's another thing that can determine whether a reaction can move forward or not. Anybody want to take a guess? What else can make a reaction decide whether a reaction can move to products or not? What can you raise or decrease to make the reaction move forward? Temperature. Okay, temperature. Okay, temperature also determines whether a reaction moves to products or not. Usually, we raise the temperature, and what happens? The reaction moves forward, typically. Okay, so the equation here for this delta G is this. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Okay, this is the final judge whether a reaction will go to the products or not. And remember, minus delta G tells us the reaction will move towards the products. Minus delta G. But, okay, but, but, but it takes input, okay, it takes input from entropy, it takes input from enthalpy, and sometimes temperature may play a role, okay, temperature may play a role. There's also delta G naught equals delta H naught minus T delta S naught. Okay. Okay, this is what's called standard state. This is called standard state. Standard state is a very specific set of conditions. So let me just tell you what standard state is. Okay, it's the not, the delta G not, delta H not, delta S not. Standard state usually is okay, standard state usually is one ATM of pressure, twenty-five degrees C, and one molar. Okay, if you're dealing with a solution. Those are usually standard state conditions. We usually look this up in a book. Okay, those are we look these up in the back of our book. Okay. 
that's what that naught means. Delta G naught equals delta H naught minus T delta S naught. Let me just take the last five or so minutes to go over some of these things here. Okay. So remember, entropy is a measure of disorder. And you guys said that a gas is more disordered than a solid, which is correct. Okay. Everything will have its own entropy, order or disorder. Okay. So let's look at some of these problems with me. Okay. So let's look at this here. CH4 gas, 2O2 gas, goes to gas in a liquid. Do you think the entropy has increased or decreased here? We've got two gases, actually three gases. One plus two is three, three gases, and it's going to one gas and two liquid. Has it gone up or down to delta S? It's decreased. So delta S would be negative, okay? Very good. The delta H here, standard state, is negative 2. Okay, what does a negative delta H mean? Exothermic or endothermic? Exothermic. Exothermic. So this delta H is negative here. Okay. So notice that both are negative. Okay, so what this reaction here is, I'm going to call it this, I'm going to call it enthalpically favorable because the delta H is negative, enthalpically favored, okay, because it's going to release energy. What about delta S? Is it entropically favored or disfavored? More order. So is it favored? Are we making more order or more disorder? Or more order. What do reactions tend to do? Reactions tend to lead to more disorder. So I would say this is entropically disfavored. Okay, you see where I'm coming from here? You see with this entropy term, Okay, what are the things that give rise to more disorder? Okay, lots of space, like a gas. Okay, lots of mass. Okay, lots of motion, okay. Just think about your kitchen or your room, okay? <laughs> what are the things that are gonna increase entropy? Okay, things that are big, things that just spread themselves around, things that move around a lot, all of these contribute to high entropy. So I would say because you, Zach and everyone said this is negatively, this delta S is negative, I would say it's entropically disfavored, okay? Because most things spontaneously go here. Spontaneous, right? Doesn't your kitchen sink or your room spontaneously spontaneously go to this mess. Okay. It, it happens spontaneous. It just, just happens. Okay. Reactions just happen, <laughs> just like your room just happens after you clean it. Okay. Okay, how about this reaction here? H plus plus OH minus goes water. Okay, what do you think the delta S would be here? Positive or negative? Uh, you have two molecules, aqueous, one is both uh, dissolved in water, going to just water by itself. So yeah, I would say the delta S is negative. Okay, what about the delta H? Negative. So that's an exothermic reaction. I would say this reaction, reaction two, is enthalpically favored. Uh, but entropically disfavored. Okay. 
not spontaneous. This just won't happen by itself. Exothermic, yes, it will release heat, but it just won't happen. Okay, it's just not going to happen based on its own devices. Okay, how about this third reaction? Solid going to a liquid. Okay, what do we think about that? Solid going to a liquid. What would our delta S be? Solid going to a liquid. Positive or negative? Solid, which is very ordered, going to a liquid. More order or less order? Less order. So what did we say less order was? Negative. Okay, negative. So here the delta S is negative. Okay, we're going towards less order. Okay, if it's more going towards, yeah, okay, less order. So if we're going towards less, this is order. All this positive and negatives got me confused. This is uh, more order. This is less order. OK, more disorder. So um, it would be, actually, you're right. It would be positive. Yeah, positive. OK, yeah, positive. Delta S is positive. You're right. Right, so solid is ordered, liquid is more disorder, so more disorder would be positive. Positive is the right answer, okay, more disorder. Okay. More disorder is positive. Okay. The delta H here is positive, okay, so is that endothermic or exothermic? Endother endothermic. Okay, so I'm going to call this reaction, this third reaction, solid going to a liquid, I'm going to call it entropically favored because solid just goes to a liquid. Okay, Does it ice by itself, solid water left on its own devices turn into a liquid? So I will call this entropically favored. Okay, but it is enthalpically disfavored. Enthalpically disfavored. Okay. All right, our final thing here. Okay, this time I hope to get it right. <laughs> All right, reaction four. All right, delta H is positive. What does that tell you? Endothermic, so enthalpically, is it favored or disfavored? Disfavored. You're going to need some heat to get this reaction to go. Okay, very good. Okay, what about the delta S, though? Okay, what do you think, Hope? We've got a solid going to two aqueous. One solid going to two aqueous. This time it's going to be positive. So I would call this entropically favored or disfavored. Favored. This is giving us more disorder. Okay, so both this reaction are giving rise to more disorder. More disorder, more disorder. So just because all of them are negative or all of them are positive doesn't mean. Um, uh, it's always like that. You can't have positive enthalpies and negative entropies. You can have positive and negatives. All right, final thing before I let you guys go. This reaction is enthalpically disfavored and entropically favored. So will this reaction go to the products? Okay. You don't know. Okay. It depends on what the final value of delta G is. And it depends on the temperature. If that delta G is negative, then yes. Yes. What about this reaction here, this third reaction? This third. What about this third reaction here? Everyone look at me. This third reaction, 
is entropically it's favored, this third reaction, but enthalpically it's not favored. So this reaction, in terms of enthalpy, it's favored. In terms of this reaction, in terms of enthalpy, it's not favored. In terms of entropy, it's favored. So which way will the reaction go? Will it go to pop products or not? Okay, like before, it depends. It depends on the value of delta G, and also it will depend on the value of the temperature. Okay, so such a situation where it's favored in one but disfavored in the other, a okay, delta G is the final arbiter. Delta G is the final judge. And sometimes temperature may play a role. Okay, if it's favored like, um, yeah, look at this first reaction, okay? Okay, this is the last thing I'll say. This first reaction, it's favored in terms of enthalpy, but it's not favored, not favored in terms of entropy. So which way will the reaction go? Will it move to products? Again, it depends on the value of delta G. If it's negative, then yes, it will go to products. And sometimes temperature can play a role in making it go to products.